and turn is advanced. Yep, and unfortunately, you can see what happened down here on the right. Yep, unknown soldier booted from the game, unfortunately. Yeah, let's watch the turn anyway. Yep, watching and you see him disappear. <laughs> neutrals. All his stacks suddenly turn into neutral stacks. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. put everything in. Oh wow. Uh, That's not going to end well. And good, goes to Verkuda. Yeah, good move by him though. He made a good prediction. Yeah. <laughs> With yeah. enough delay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, obviously he planned that out. Yep, that worked Ooh. quite well for him. Ouch. He's able to get Scandinavia back, but he has surrendered. Except yes. Yep. Not much you can do when your teammate gets booted, unfortunately. Like, the... yeah. Oh, there's that Denmark heaven. <laughs> Weirdest, Crazy. craziest yeah. combo. What the heck? Yeah. Uh... Okay. Let's go back to history to take a look at his picks. He did yeah. do that one, two there. <sighs> I don't get oh. that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I love it. It's hilarious. It's then a so three four awesome. round Antarctica. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Wow. And then unknown soldier. Oh, unknown soldier got his first two. <laughs> so hmm. they had zero information on us, just like we had zero information on them. Yep. Of yep. course, they made good guesses as to where we were in Central and West Russia. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so on turn one, we see him get that one turn bonus, giving him <laughs> a fantastic positioning where he surprises us. And we're like, WTF. <laughs> seriously, bro? Like, seriously? Oh, man. And then turn three, you see me fail to take South Africa. Ah. Uh. Poor unknown soldier. I don't he know tried... why I attacked that with one. Poor unknown soldier. He tried to go to Hong Kong. Oh, no, you attacked South Africa with one to add delay. But why uh, would I do that to... Whatever. What was it? Uh, added delay. To... Oh, why? I don't remember. Well, I already did send... I sent one from Novo to South Pole. Ah, uh, you hit. Delay. Okay, what we did was we guessed that he did not have the combo in Scandinavia. Yeah. And that's why the there was an attack in Moscow. We delayed it, hoping he didn't have it, and he was just rushing Central or West Russia. So, yeah, you were going to use your income to your advantage, and we assumed he would expand that turn elsewhere and probably blockade in Moscow. Yeah. That's why we had that last move. Unfortunately, then we find out the hard way that he actually had the bonus from the one turn. And we're just like, <laughs> oh seriously? Oh my god, he got Denmark Heaven. Yeah. Mm. And unfortunately, that gave away your position in Antarctica. But uh, Unknown Soldier guessed that somebody was in Southeast Asia. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did hit that Hong Kong a lot. That slowed him down, actually. That's the reason he didn't get East China quickly. Oh, okay. He tried to do it the turn before, attacking with three, but he failed in Hong Kong, unfortunately, for him. All right, and then he worked on East China after that. Yeah, that would explain the uh, reinforcement counts that we were seeing from him. Yep. Then turn five, he gets it, and I blockade in South Pole. And then I threaten him from Tibet. And then you do the night. Uh, no, this is when we uh, you sent me everything to Ufa. Yeah, that was that. This is when we did that other nice move. <laughs> and then he runs into you, and loses every. And uh, runs into me and loses everything. Boom. And then yeah. I grab. Yay. That worked out quite well. And then we have. You going to Shan Z? That you can Unable see right to... here, turn oh. six. Uh, yep. The game is, yeah, it's not over, but it it uh, it's 
it's, it's our advantage it's, at this point. Yeah, it's very advantageous for they us. They have a three income advantage. We have a huge positioning advantage. Yep. Because it's yeah. pretty much guaranteed they will lose at least four, probably seven. Yep. Income. Yep. And then turn seven. He predicts you going to Murmansk. Yes. Which is absolutely hilarious. For some reason, he deployed his guys in Norway, which I do not understand at all. You should still deploy in Finland, I think. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I don't know. I don't understand it myself, but... Then you get first move over Unknown Soldier to get to Jang Z, but it doesn't really make much of a difference because you end up taking it from using order delay with Tibet. And then... Head to Libya. Head to Libya, yeah. Because that stack... Well, I I was afraid it might move up there, and I didn't want to have to deal with it. The stack yeah. in Kenya. Yep. And he does did decide to go to Kenya instead of... Working on getting South, South Africa. Africa. Which I'm not entirely sure I agree with. Because you are, he already had a huge army advantage on you. True, but he didn't have much income wise. Uh, he he ha did not have income advantage, so yeah, he needed more armies. I I'm not. That wouldn't even would it be enough to take all of South Africa? Fifteen guys, three, three. I guess it would. It would be enough. Yeah. So hmm, I guess he could have done that. Oh well, you decided yeah. not to. And then the next turn, we've got Rabina playing a reinforcement card. It would take him so long to take South Africa anyway that it. I don't think it would have made much of a difference. Honestly, he would have got it the same turn that I, that I broke into East Africa. Yeah. Well, this turn we do see that Rabina goes to Archangelsk. Basically, the difference would be he wouldn't have a stack in Somalia that turn, and he would have a three more income instead. Yeah. So I, I think that those 15 armies may actually have been better suited to do that because... Mm, still not sure. Well, he would need to eliminate me from East Africa and the whole Africa yes. area to yeah. be safe, so... But anyways, this turn he goes up to Egypt with his guys from Sudan. And then you plow into Sudan to break East China, knocking Unknown Soldier down to 5 income. Rabina is also at 5, so we currently have an 18 team income to their 10. Yep. So this is where we we got a huge advantage. Yeah, I'd say the game was basically over at this point because uh pretty much no matter what they could no matter what they did as long as you didn't get eliminated from one of the areas that... oh yeah oh yeah but i was never going to be eliminated from jang z i could just place enough and then all i had to do was get a little lucky in other words he couldn't he as long as he didn't perfectly predict what i do in east africa then i'd be fine over there yeah because you did go to congo and Ethiopia, unless he placed all, uh, unless he either got a first move into Sudan or he placed all five of his income in Ethiopia and defended that and then took Sudan, then there's nothing he could do to retake East Africa. And even if he did t retake East Africa, I would still have the full in 13 income plus a reinforcement card. Yeah. The next turn, because it would take Rabina an extra turn to go to to take Central Russia. So I would have yeah. 18 income to work with against East Africa for another turn. I don't see how that could work out well for them at all. His army advantage would have dwindled away. I mean, Rubina did get Scandinavia back, which was a bit of an issue if he had not been booted. So I don't think the <laughs> game was 100% over, but I still think we were at a decently advantageous position. It would have been extremely hard for them to come back. Extremely hard. Like, <laughs> they'd have to 
predict us perfectly several times and eliminate me from eventually they'd have to uh, eliminate me from both of these areas honestly hmm. I'm not sure how they could do that they'd never get South America even if they broke Central Russia I'd have an income lead I don't I don't know what they could do yeah Rubino well, would somehow have to stay alive over there and have both of those bonuses broken, West Russia yeah. and Central Russia, the whole time. And that it just seems like <laughs> good luck with only five to maybe max eight income if you manage to keep Scandinavia, but ugh. near impossible task. Yeah. Okay, well... Good game, Unknown Soldier and Rabina. Sucks that Unknown Soldier got booted like that. Yeah. It seems to happen too often. For us, anyway. Yeah. Our opponent, just one of our opponents, just up and gets booted in these latter games. And uh, I, I, <laughs> I'd I, much rather have that not happen, you know? Yeah. Well, we'll see who we get in the next game. Yep. Oh, it should be pretty good, hopefully, yeah. Yep. You want to <laughs> pin another little uh, ladder ranking thing to the end of this video, too? Uh, we might, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. If you guys see it, then yes. Otherwise, no. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Okay. Well, as always, this has been Methonian. And Casey's Craig. And we'll see you guys next time. So, here we see our profile. Yep. And this is our updating updated rating and rank. Yep. So we currently have a rating of nineteen twelve and are in third place. Woohoo. Yeah, our highest rating ever was nineteen nineteen. So we're not quite at that level, but yep. close. But we currently have two more games going on, as you can see on the right. It's a little bit of a spoiler there, although you haven't seen any results. Yep, so it's not too, bit, too bad. It's more like, a, well, here's the games you'll see in the future. Yes. Aper and Summer, <laughs> and then Falcon and Z-Dog. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll see if we can end up getting up into second again and eventually beating Mannerheim and Jupiter from their inflated rating. <laughs> 21-14. <21-14. laughs> yes. That's just a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, as always, this has been Methonian. And Casey's crack. And we'll see you guys in the next game.